back to the channel, folks. I'm your host, Fong. Thank you for joining another episode here on Battle Gamers. And today, we're taking a look at another new game coming out on Steam that works very well with the Legends arcade family of products. And this is one of those games that you could play either through OTG with a, with a PC, or you could have the Legends Link app running. It's a nice 2D side-scrolling metroidvania souls-like game it's called watchers chronicles it's from third sphere game studios and they were kind enough to provide a game key well in advance i've gotten some time to spend with it appreciate them for doing that thank you and this should be going out on the day we're under an embargo right now so it should go out tomorrow which would be the 19th of january and it'll probably be in the afternoon i think they gave a weird time of like 4 32 p.m local time which would be pacific which is quite odd but um as soon as the game goes live i'm sure the embargo lifts so i'll keep an eye out and then just push the button to uh publish the the listing and or to publish the video for for the game that goes up so what is white knight Chron or white <laughs> white knight chronicles that's that's what i was gonna say watchers chronicles watchers chronicles is kind of in the vein of dark souls right dark souls demon soul or Bloodborne. They've, and, and that's not, you know, to say copycatting anything or, you know, everybody keeps making these. This is, this game's a little bit different. It actually has the feel of Dark Souls. It has components to it that make you think uh, of the Dark Souls franchise or of the Bloodborne franchise. They take a little bit of each thing and they kind of put it all together. There's a hub world, kind of like in Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 1, Demon Souls, um, there's even, you know, Bloodborne has like a hub world. And from that point, you, you go outward and, and you drop into areas and, you know, you can explore those areas. There's, there's multiple shrines in case of Watcher Chronicles, fire, um, bonfires in the case of like Dark Souls, for example. So plenty of these that are through the world, you have everything's built kind of in a i guess i guess you would say just go and investigate right there's there's hidden areas there's areas that you can find by accident there's there's areas that you can get to and and sometimes it's not as clear right there's not always a clear way to the boss right you have to jump over some things and jump onto a ladder hanging off and you may not explore that the first time around and then you open up the shortcuts and it's got all of those aspects of what Dark Souls does. So, you know, this this is one of those games where I feel it's it's kind of perfect for the Legends Arcade or any you know home arcade platform. I I would love to see this come to like I Arcade or get over to you know un, Arcade One Up's not really doing what I Arcade is doing, but in the future maybe they will. Right there's. There's maybe an opening for, for indie games to kind of make it over there. But for IARK to get it, for, you know, being able to play it on Steam, if you've got a Steam account or Epic or whoever you use, you know, run that through OTG or the Legends Link app. So let's take a look a little, little bit here at the game and then we'll do some footage, direct footage and all that. But it'll be a quicker review. I don't want to take everybody's time and then we'll talk about final thoughts at the end. So hang tight. So let's get in and take a little bit of a look here. I have this running off of an Alienware Alpha R2 PC. It was the one that I did for the Legends Ultimate Mini, and I'm, I haven't fully fitted that in yet, so it's actually being used here in this scenario because I wanted to show it on the Legends Ultimate Arcade because of the two-player. Yes, this game actually, like I said, is very similar to Dark Souls and Bloodborne and all those. You can actually play two-player co-op on this which is a great feature really fun but let's just go ahead and take a look at the game overall options you know it's 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 a unique stylized game it it almost reminds me of marionettes from puppeteer on the ps3 it, even though they don't move that way there's definitely some unique uh physics to the game in that way so they they, they look more like they're pieced together than they are you know kind of like a, a human type form where you know you can see our shoulder connects to our 
wrist, you know, and, and there's a flow there. It's not just like a line and then there's like a pivot point and they just move up and down. Our arms can go, you know, uh, our arms can go up, down, left, right, instead of just forward, back and forth. So that's kind of, they kind of just go forward, back and forth. You'll see it in the gameplay. We have all the different features here that we'd need. Uh, support for V-Sync, everything. I play in a resolution on here because it's OTG now of 1920 by 1080. Uh, but, you know, obviously if you were doing the Legends Link app, you might want to go down to 1280 by 720, save some of that bandwidth. You've got some really nice uh, other options to be able to turn on and off, but pretty much even this PC, any PC is really going to be able to handle this game. You do have your controls, and I have made a controller configuration for this game. It's already published. Watchers Chronicles, Legends Ultimate, and Legends Ultimate Mini Mapping. This gives the best layout. Once you have this, if you've, if you've downloaded it from the configuration, you'd find those under Browse Configs and under Community. Once you've grabbed that, then what you'd want to do is just go into your controller configuration in the game and just map the buttons to the exact way you want it. Now I use primary button is X, so that's your primary weapon, secondary is Y, your jump is A, your dodge or your roll is B, and then for the left bumper, right bumper, I used Z as the potion, so being able to refill your health, and C as block. And that's really all you need. You know, you can change any of these to whatever you want, but like you can play this with a six button controller. If you have eight buttons, like on the Legends Gamer Pro or the Legends Gamer Mini, you can add in some extra if you really want to. But again, it's laid out for the six button and it works for both uh, one and two players, which is nice. So we'll just back out of here, all your other stuff you can mess with, but I'm gonna continue from where I'm at. I'm about eight hours into the game. Uh, well, I don't know how far I am into the game. I've seen maybe two to three bosses. There are, I've seen three bosses, I believe, and there are 20 plus bosses. So think of, it's, there's, there's definitely some challenge. These here are your areas you can rest and you can do your fast travel back to your hub world. We'll go there first. Haven is what it's called. You're essentially in purgatory and the watchers have invaded purgatory and now you're dealing with that problem because they're going to screw things up for everybody kind of thing. You have your strong attack. This guy here, you can talk to everybody just by pressing up. You can ascend. This is where you can level up your character if you have enough of the embryum, I think it is. And we won't mess with him now, but you can also just talk to any characters. You can see the little hand picked up because I bumped the spinner. It thinks there's a mouse there. You can fix that by going into the at games menu, but here you have your strong. You can also hold for a strong, stronger swing. You have your secondary, which is your arrows. And then you can upgrade your weapons. There's plenty of upgrades. There's plenty of weapons to go after. You can swap those out and I'll show a little bit of those here. You have your jump, you have your roll, which can actually be used in the air. You can dodge backwards, roll forwards. You have your health. My health is full, but you can drink your flasks of, looks like blood, and uh, there's six. Right now, you upgrade that, very similar to Bloodborne. You get um, blood vials, you can find them on enemies sometimes. There's areas that you could probably farm for those. So yeah, a little bit of everything in this game. There's your block as well. If you go into your menu, you can see you have armor. You can change, well, you can change your armor. You can change your primary weapon. You can change your secondary, it gives all your stats. Then you also have rings that you can put on, like I have one for increasing, or uh, ring of protection decreases physical damage taken by 5%. So like I'm, I'm getting a 5% advantage to attack on me. So there's, there's different features there. You can go through, check out your inventory, um, extra pouches of blood vials. You have your uh, umbrium shards. That, these are for upgrading your equipment very similar to any kind of the stone shards and that in Dark Souls, where you can put it into your weapon and you have to have so many and you have to have the money, but you then can upgrade your equipment and better the weapon you're using. You also have your stats, giving you kind of your basic character uh, abilities, capabilities, you have your map, and then you have just system features, things like that. Under equipment, 
if I go back in, I want to change out my hammer. I have found different weapons. I've got a steel katana. I've got a sword and shield. I've got a greater axe. I've got dual wielding swords. Um, you start out with the long sword. So actually, no, I think as a soldier, you start out with the soldier's shield and sword. Uh, but you can, you know, swap to any of these. Character looks great. We'll go up here. There are some destructible objects. I haven't really found that they provide anything. Let's go over here. First one, you can go over and have your equipment upgraded. This is your Nephilim, I guess, guy. You can talk to him. You can do shop. So you can get some different uh, equipment. Armor as well, if you want that. So you have better armor that you can you can buy. And it's Umbra is the cash or the, the, the economy. So it's like... 4,000 or 5,000 or 7,500 for different armor sets. If you go back, you can do upgrades. You can go in and you can say, hey, I want to upgrade my katana, for example. It's going to say, well, you need, you need one shard, umbrium shard, and I have two. And then I need 1,039 umbra, but I have zero right now. So I've got to go out and make some money, but then I could upgrade my long sword and get more power to that. And you can do that with all your weapons. You also can buy the weapons or find the weapons. I've found most of these. Then we can go over here, talk to our little guy that uh, sells all sorts of trinkets you can buy. Actually, when you first meet up with him, you can buy X amount of Umbrium to upgrade your equipment. So they have that in there. There's just all sorts of similarities you'll find. And, and again, uh, imitation is flattery, right, in some ways. And this is definitely a, a really good flattery to a 2d version of dark souls it's uh, it's probably one of the better ones i've seen in terms of capabilities challenge everything there are games like Ga uh, death's gambit that are similar or dead cells which those are metroidvania games i would say this is less metroidvania and more dark souls platformer so it's a little bit of a nuance there but those are single player experiences. This can be played co-op. This definitely is fun playing co-op. There's also some similarities to other games out there like Cuphead, for example, in terms of challenge and in terms of being able to play, you know, two players and co-oping it. So we'll talk about some of those in the end towards the final thought, talk about some of the numbers around those games, what they've done and, and kind of where this game is going to come in at and what potentially the ceiling might be for this game. If there is any, I mean, some people may love it. It may pick up. It's going to depend on on how often you know the game gets visible, and then you know how many people pick up on it and start talking about it. It's, like I said, it's it's always a tough thing to say how successful a game will be based upon just not having visibility versus having visibility. So we'll go and run out of here. Take a look at some of the uh, initial enemy combat that you'd see. Again, you have different areas that you go into. Now you can teleport very similar from the hub world, like Bloodborne, for example, into these areas once you've unlocked them. Um, you can rest at them at any time. You can, of course, hit travel like we did with Haven and move back and forth and move in between. You can also do the multiplayer. So we'll just do multiplayer here, for example. This game supports multiplayer with two players, but you can also use Steam's remote play and be able to bring somebody in that doesn't own the game but is on your friends list and then they can play with you over the net right over online which is kind of a cool feature they don't have to own the game they can jump in when you're playing and they can be your player too so in here what you would do is if you wanted remote invite you would hit a and then you could pick your friends list right and i could pick anybody here if i want to have player two start and i'll back out just to to show you kind of from the beginning if they're a local player on like the Arcade Legends Ultimate, you just hit P1 and then you go in and press A. They can choose between two characters, can be a male or a female by checking this down here at the bottom. The rogue has two dual wields and then the warrior is similar to what my character is here. There's player two. You have complete full functionality, you block. You can fit, refill your health, roll, jump, swing primary, then your secondary, there is no um, player damage, player versus player damage, it's all co-op. So no friendly fire or anything of that nature. But yeah, it, it zooms out pretty far, right? You can get a nice um, 
nice distance before it actually teleports, but you can see it teleports player two. And then if ultimately you say, hey, I'm done playing player two, you can just roll over to system and you can end multiplayer and then you're back to your single player game and all in real time, which is great. I love that feature. And you can only start multiplayer at the shrines. So here's our, you know, enemies. You know, obviously they have their own attack patterns, but I can roll in and out of damage just like in Dark Souls. I can just obviously use my secondary to, to stun them, to stop them. Heavy swings. You collect your Umbra, so you're getting your points and your coins, or in this case, your sh looks like diamonds uh, or gems. And then you can actually start to uh, upgrade your gear. You have your block, obviously, for long range enemies. You have fall damage. Like if I, like I'll let him, well, I'll let one of these guys knock me off. Or I'll just fall off. If I fall off from that height, you can survive certain ones, but then uh, there's instances where if you're up just a little bit higher than that, you will perish in, in terms of the, the, the fall damage. So, whoop. You can see I've dropped my bag of gems. Now that'll be there. I can go back up there and get that. In some cases, you can just kind of skirt past enemies if you really want. Oh. Actually, you can refill your health. Let's do that. I'll take a drink from my potion. Oh, they got me. I wanted to go get my money, but your money would be sitting up there and then you could uh, go and collect that as long as you didn't die in between, similar to Dark Souls. So there's that challenge of being able to get back to your body or your corpse before you've actually died again so you can capture all of your equipment and gear back or your, your you'll keep your gear but your your money that you've uh, been able to come up with i survived that one let's go back up here i'll show you one more thing if you noticed when they hit me it's very similar to castlevania i take like when i get hit i actually go flying back so i'll let them shoot me from here they knock you off like when you're jumping they stop you right so it's very similar to castlevania you get knocked back or knocked back on it and then yeah the, the game overall has a very solid feel to it plays very well it has been out there for a little bit i don't think it was in uh, early access at all i got it uh from the developer directly you can see there's some enemies coming at me now i'm deeper into the the problem area there was a there was loot right there you can find but um, yeah, that's the overall game itself. So let's uh, jump out of here and we'll do final thoughts and talk a little bit more about the, the game and kind of where it kind of sits in the, the market today. folks let's finish up this kind of final thoughts on watcher chronicles the game itself an excellent example of how you can do a 2d souls-like platformer and it plays extremely well on the arcade platform the legends uh, ultimate does provide you that capability so does 
basically any Legends product, you know, either through the Legends Link app or an OTG like I've got there, you can definitely hook that up and be able to play these games. This one, for example, is a perfect game for multiplayer, it does support two player, the platform, the, the Legends Ultimate Arcade handles that very well, especially when it's an OTG PC scenario, but it would also handle it if it was a Legends Link app. So you should be able to check these out with a friend, and this is a good one. The game should go live sometime today, so you should be able to wishlist it, be able to see it if it's not available right now, but I will put the link below when you see this. I think they said the embargo time frame was like 4.32 p.m. today, which is kind of odd. I don't know why that is, but uh, we'll definitely see if it goes live around, you know, noon, maybe a little bit after noon. It might even went before noon, but we'll definitely be looking at this game. I do appreciate the developers sending out a code, giving some comparison data. You know, I'm going to throw in some screens here that will be for Death's Gambit, which is one we talked about earlier in the video. It's a single player, kind of Souls-like style game in the 250 to 300,000 range of units in the market. In terms of a higher end competitor, obviously Dead Cells kind of meets that, minus the, the co-op ability, but it's there. And that one's closer to about 3 million. And then another one that I think would be a good comparison for 2D challenging or two player challenging game is Cuphead. And that's done extremely well, especially on other platforms like Microsoft Game Pass, stuff like that. So we'll throw up some data here on that, what it looks like on Steam. So that gives you some idea of where the range of, of Watcher Chronicles could, could fall in terms of interest from the community. I'm hoping that there's a little bit out there. I think it's a great game. I think it's well worth checking out and I think it really plays well on the home arcade platforms. If you haven't already, definitely give us a subscribe here at Fat Old Gamers, which might be backwards, and we would love to have you come join the community, sit around, chit chat with us, leave your comments on these types of games down below. We'd love to know if it's of interest. I like doing game reviews. I love you know, obviously the uh, Legends products and the iArcade is great and the Arcade, there it is over here, the the Infinity Game Table and the Arcade 1-Ups, but you know, I also love the games and I love to talk about them and, and showcase brand new ones ahead of time if, if at all possible, but definitely games that play well on these when you do actually use OTG or the Legends Link app. So please give us a follow subscribe if you haven't already leave your comments and please like the video and get this you know more people can see it so it's it's really important to to be able to get different things out to people you know obviously we do all the games on the infinity game table which has been quite a while since there's been a new one kind of like the ir arcade but you know we definitely do that we want to start talking about steam games that work well on at games products with the otg capabilities so Definitely like the video, get it out there, and share it if you do have a chance with somebody who might be interested in this. But otherwise, thank you again for watching, and have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.